watch some Posey Mom Austin. All right, you guys know that I have a fascination with the idea of being a one watch guy. Well, I read a great article the other day. Um, it was actually by uh, a viewer, Danny Cravello, and he sent me a link to this article. He wrote it for rolexmagazine.com. I'll put a link in the description, check it out. It starts with um, a Hodinkee video. In fact, why don't you guys pause this video, go to the link, check it out, and then come back, all right? All right, hopefully you just did that. Um, so it starts out with a, a video from Hodinkee. Uh, ben Clymer was interviewing Jack Nicholas, uh, the famous golfer. And, you know, I didn't know this, but Jack Nicholas wore uh, the same Rolex for 50 years. Uh, it's an awesome story. If you go to the article, you'll see that video there embedded and you can check it out. It's a great story. Um, a day date, uh, Rolex, yellow gold day date. And man, I mean, um, what a great watch for a, for a golfer. And you know, they're just, he talks about what he does with it uh, when he was playing. And it's just, it's such a great story. Um, you know, seeing that video actually made me think, wow, maybe I could do uh, a yellow gold watch. Um, but that's kind of another video talking about that. So anyway, back to uh, Danny's article. He was inspired by the idea of one watch. And you know, if you watch this, this Jack Nicholas uh, video and you already have a fascination with um, having one watch, being a one watch guy, pouring your all of your uh, horological affection into just one watch. Well, um, I think, I think, uh, you know, anyway, it, it appealed to Danny and it sort of struck a, struck a chord with him and uh, he actually did it. He, uh, he pared down to one watch and that's what the story is. That's what the article is about and it's fascinating. Huh? He, he uh, <laughs> What, what watch did he end up with? Well, well you got to read the article for that, but um, could I do it? Uh, well, actually, this kind of ties in with uh, something that Maynard in Japan asked me, and I'm going to make a video about that. Uh, could I do it? Um, hmm. I mean, anybody could do it. Would I want to do it? Would there be regret? Uh, that's the fear, you know, the regret that you're going to choose the one, one, one wrong watch. Hold on that you're gonna choose the wrong one watch. There you go. And that's a fear, and I think it's a fear that you're gonna sell a watch and never be able to replace it. That it, you know, on down the road, if you did decide to replace it, you maybe couldn't afford it anymore because uh, it had gone up in price. That's a fear of mine. Um, but Danny did it. He, I don't wanna to give too much of the story away, but he did it, and he did it quickly. Um, yeah, anyway, check out the article. It's very interesting. And uh, the next video I make is going to be what would buy my one watch be? If I did pare it down, if I, if I did what Danny did, what would I do? What would be the one remaining watch? Uh, any guesses? Um, I'll tell you what it wouldn't be. What am I wearing? Wristwatch check. Oh, <laughs> I bet that surprised you. Why am I wearing this thing? Um, well, I will say, Reading Danny's article and watching that video with Jack Nicholas um, makes me ask myself, what the hell are you doing with this watch on? Um, you know, I mentioned that I wanted to do, not wanted to do, but I, I said, you know, how would it be doing a one week on the wrist with this thing? Well, I ain't gonna do one week. I can't do one week. Um, but I do want to, I just, I wanted to do, at least one day, and I don't, I don't mean one day at home. I, I did one day with it actually yesterday at home, and it rolled into today, and using it in like a real situation. I took it, I took it to work. I used it in, in like a real situation, and um, well, you know, when you, when you look objectively at a watch, there are things to like and there are things to dislike about it, and there are actually things that, yeah, I would I would say ain't too bad about this watch and I'm probably gonna make a video about that hey look if you're not interested I don't blame you um, 
Uh, but I will say that uh, it was interesting. I was getting ready for work this morning, and I, I thought, can I do this? Can I actually wear this, this thing? Um, it was almost embarrassing for me to put it on because it's so big and gaudy. And I guess, you know, anybody that actually likes and knows watches, uh, let's see, well, that poor guy, like he, oh, he, he's, it, it kind of looks like I'm posing. It looks, it looks like a, a gold watch, but it's not. It looks like a big old gaudy gold watch. And it, it's not, you know, it's not, not the way I roll horologically, as you guys know. Um, but it's not real gold, it's, it's even worse. It's like, you know, the, the fake gold thing. Anyway, uh, I know its faults, I know its merits, what little they are, and uh, if you're curious, uh, stick around and, and watch uh, an upcoming video on this. But um, anyway, uh, check out that article and, and in the comment section if you're uh, inclined, mention what, what you would wear uh, if you had to choose one watch for the rest of your life, what would it be? All right, well, that's gonna be my next video probably. Either that or talking about this. Take care, thanks for watching, see you next time.